what's up everybody this is bedbug brian welcome back to the cha channel welcome back to the series we're doing uh episode seven going medieval we're just gonna hop right into it here see what's going on with the crew i'm gonna drink my coffee and hopefully not slurp it directly into the microphone Okay, Charville, number one, cooking, number two, handling. Now that we have animals and we managed to put them in the pen, we have a cow, sheep, male, and female. So that's awesome. If they could just breed and make offspring and we could have a, a, a good supply of wool, that'd be great. Um, and then gun number one is going to be uh, growing and harvesting and cutting. And then hingus is going to be uh, mining and construction and kind of hopping back and forth. That way we can kind of balance all this. A animal taming takes a long time and uh, it's worthwhile in the long run. And we're going to double uh, the amount of square footage that we have available to everyone, which is great. Not sure what my first move is gonna be as far as filling um, this room. Another cow, wow, wow. Well, let's see if we can find that cow and rope him in early. There we go, okay. Um, Let's look at his stats. If I'm gonna interrupt, we should just let him there's no immediate danger for the cow. I don't think anything really attacks it because it's so big. Love my tree line. Once we get terraforming, I'm going to put a curve and have it measured out a little better, but looks good. Plenty of trees. Not blocking my line of sight. In fact, this one's trying to. We're going to cut that down as well as this. Now we'll have milk. Just one more thing. Wait a minute. Did I misread that? It's wild. Oh, okay. Well, let's tame them. Let's look at, do we have a male or female cow that's already domestic here? Cattle. Young, 15. Two males. Awkward. All right. This guy's chopping them down and planting them immediately. Love that. Let's round up some of this wood, put it in the middle of the construction site. This just makes the building process so much easier. If you want to, you can just throw all hands on deck once the supplies are already there ahead of the project. Got a little pattern here, male pattern baldness, um, field maple, field, oak tree, pine tree, field maple, oak tree, pine tree, and so on down. This guy's going to take care of that one. So I just wanted to clear the ones that's not part of the pattern. We'll just replant them. Seems like a horrible waste to chop down something young like that. And it kind of is, but if you replant it immediately, it doesn't matter. Kind of excited to see what this will look like when everything's grown. Either way, it's just the trees are spaced out properly. And so when you casually look through it, you can individually check to see how something's growing, what stage it is. And it looks better. Oh, I hate when they drop the food. And for the life, you cannot get them to pick it up. And just, you know, put it in your pouch like you did the first time. Oh, now this animal's going to eat it. Well, we're going to eat that animal. What do you say that? If 
I can see it. I don't know what polecat is exactly or and what it tastes like. We'll give it a shot. <clears throat> We'll get out of his line of sight. He'll forget all about me and we'll shoot him again. It's good archery practice. We'll go hide. He'll be back. <clears throat> I guess that's one advantage to dropping your food. Making lemonade out of lemons. Fall back. Very dangerous polecat. Enjoy yourself. I'll just miss. We'll stay back. Polecat coming. Oh, waste of archery right there. Hit him. Gotcha. Not even once. I don't know what this guy's schedule is looking like. He's fine. He's got all day. Oh, it's a baby one. Now I feel terrible. Wow, look at that. It's an infestation. This is good archery practice. Let's see. Ooh, got a wolf. I don't know if I want that smoke, especially since I'm missing every shot. What? This dude's an 18, and he's missing all his shots. He can't even kill a polecat. Now he's going to get into it with a wolf. Or is that my dog? It's my dog. Never mind. I knew he was going to do that. All right, let's move on. Ah, little babies. That's a lot of whatevers, you know? They look like ferrets. What is that? I always thought polecats were raccoons. I guess I'm wrong. How much wood would it cost to do all the floor? 342, it's kind of a huge investment considering. Um... Yeah, we're not rich like that. We're not rich in wood, so we'll just say, do this. Limestone. So now that we got everything enclosed, we can destroy this door, that door, and um, we'll put a door just lined up with the, the main, just for OCD reasons. But we're not going to destroy that wall until... <clears throat> we have walls put up even have a door built I mean just in case we get raided at the absolute worst time I don't need to have some back door entrance into the fortification let's build this next that's fully enclosed So we'll have a front door entrance there, and then once we get situated, we'll have an uh, entrance here. I don't mind defending two different points. Floors are coming in. Nice. Um, this looks silly, but let's see if we can put a window that makes sense in the same spot. Can I get some sunlight in this dungeon? One, two, three this one yeah that makes total sense doing some reading of course it's going to be looking into another part of the inside okay get this closed up um, reinforced door
and we could put uh, windows here at least. Nice, a free one. The game's giving us mercy. If you remember, like um, the previous two episodes ago, we got spanked. We had a total of five settlers and uh, we lost two of them. It's probably the most brutal battle I've ever been in in this game. I don't normally lose two like that unless it's like very end game. All right, Botany 19, just for the intellectual mining and smithing. Kidding, smithing. Uh, one smithing one I mean we're not gonna turn down any hands at all you could be the worst character ever even if it costs us a battle I just don't like turning it down but I will say this um, it I'm gonna st I'm gonna stop doing that usually I take all free settlers but I don't want to ruin friendships um, and that also brings up another point. I want to get cartography as quick as possible. So I can keep my eye out, cartography table. Uh, keep my eye out on the regions and kind of know them. Like, odds are I'm going to end up getting a settler that runs away from th these people. We're actually friendly with them. And I'll just get a negative 100 influence right away. You know, and then no longer are, are able to trade with them. Uh, I did it in another practice run where it was like negative 100 influence and so then i brought over like 500 bars of ingots uh gold ingots and all kinds of free weaponry and we're talking value of five thousand or eight thousand dollars somewhere around there and i only got plus five the influence so i don't want to just willy-nilly piss off people for free settlers so we'll have to see about that my point is i need to pay attention to who my friends are and try to remember him. All right, let's look at new new guy. Construction. This guy's terrible. One, two, three, one. Whoa, Botany 19, uh, which is great, but this guy's double passionate, and um, I mean, he'll be a good backup. If anything, we'll have him solely available for growing, and then this way it takes the load off of gun. So we'll divide and conquer some of the Botany here. So number one will be harvest. No, I, when we're building, I like to have cutting be number one first, then this. That makes sense. And then this guy's just gonna pick up the growing. Mining, double passionate here. That is one thought. I mean, who cares? Intellect 3. Someone could be researching. Charvel can't do it. He's got too many animals at this point. He does some cooking. And really, smithing is the main thing. So his time is definitely taken up. I put this as a 5. So if I manually say mine it, it's not going to give me a problem. Growing's going to be a big job, but not now. It's autumn. I mean, he'll grow some trees. But that should be my soul number two. Um, he could be backup construction and leave it at three.
I re this will be one of those leave it for manual. He'll never make it to number five. I mean, if he does, then boy, we have no other jobs available. And I think same here. But really, it's going to come down to Hingis going back and forth, making his supply of materials, and then building. And that looks very balanced there, third. So long story short, cooking, which right now isn't that demanding, including butchering, growing, the big job, and a solid three for research. After growing, we're going to need you to help out with picking up stuff before you research. Harvesting, cutting plants. He really needs a third, and that might as well be... <clears throat> man. Um, research. I only have two tables, but everybody's going to be busy if we have at least one person here and there. But before research... Pick up. Especially after hauling. Or er, harvesting. That looks good. Mining one. Yeah. I like it. Let's do the schedule. How tired is he? Not very. Okay, this is going to make Gun tired, but I think we'll, we'll look out for it. Um, so the pattern will just start all over from there. Awesome. So this is working out great. 41, 41, 41. Sweet. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago that we planted those trees. I mean, it must have been one year. And now I have probably 50 trees, I would say, planted or set up for it. This guy's going for it. We're just going to chop all the trees down. Okay, so that said, I want to... <clears throat> divide my wood piles up here and just kind of spread them all over the compound. This makes sense because of all the woodworking. And so we'll just do one square, 200 units of wood worth, let's say wood. Very high priority. Okay, so that's one, that's 200 right there near the door. Ooh, I like that. I'll try to remember this. Do a spacing of three between windows and doors, and that way you make room for your for your beams. Um, this might be a little excessive. I'm not going to build too high up, but just for the sake of good practice here, we'll put a lot of extra beams and um, we'll go ahead and put the flooring down. And before, I, I'll probably move the beds strictly just that after this is built. And then we'll put Merlons around. So we're trying to always be ready for the raid. It is autumn. And I have four animals, two of them are cows, and only 269 uh, hay. So we definitely need to break off at some point, make sure we're good on hay. In fact, this definitely can be collected. 
do we have a new stairway? Wrong, wrong level, but boom. Okay, cool. So we got fast access to this area. Good. This dude. I don't even want this much wood right now. But if they're ready, it's better to turn and burn, as they say. I'm kidding. They don't say that. <laughs> Made it up. Let's get rid of that free birch tree. Yeah. It's a good time to plant your trees now. Let them get their roots situated over the winter. And then we can make a ton of weapons or something. Wood weapons in the winter where it's warm. That said, let's close the windows. I'm keeping these open because furn uh, furnaces do not, you don't want to be enclosed, obviously. It's just a lot of smoke and stuff. So that would give it a debuff. Over here, we could benefit from closing it, but then it won't look symmetrical. So ideally we'll just move whatever this is and um, put something that wants to be outside there. What that is, I don't know yet. If anything, maybe we could just turn it into a convenient little barn for the animals. Let's look at this. Under a roof is the only thing that's required. Does not need to be in a room. Okay. This could be good storage. Slash barn. Let's do this. This is temporary. With the prey outside. Okay. Is that a one by a two by one, two by three? What is this? For ore? Ironing it. Surprised I didn't label it. Ingots. It's a little optimistic spacing for the ingots. Sorry, my head was turned. Okay this. This is for ore. Let's do a little of that. Just cramp everything over here. That's not going to be really used in the winter because the temperatures aren't going to be high enough. I mean, you could make the mash, I guess, but the mash isn't going to do anything. Oh, here we go. This is my point. The progeny of the plague salvation. I guess that's one of those permanent enemies. So, yes. Whoa, melee. Smithing double passionate. That's the first double passionate smithing. 25 tailoring. Well, of course we're going to take her. We need beds. Okay. One day, 18 hours. Are we going to get demolished? Because, man, that first battle... It was, act, tech, it was actually the second battle. We got destroyed. And I'm uh, kind of traumatized from it. Alright. Let's do this. Let's just uh, focus on battle. Hold on. Let's... Uh, Flooring only, single layer. Let's not take time away from our builders. We want Merlons. That was the first deficiency that I could see. 
was we didn't have any Merlons over here. Um, I want everything built now, so stop what you're doing. Ah, of course, I used up all my stone. I was hoping I just would have 200 stone or something still available. Okay, not a problem. What we'll do is mine right here. Is this a stone slope? Get rid of this anyways. I got one right here, which is right in front of my door, so that's fine. Here. So we'll adjust. Well, make sure Hingus is a one right here. He's constructing. Put him to mining. It's still way early here. I'm, I feel like we can get Merlons built everywhere. And I do want to swap these out. But I don't want to take the chance yet. Let's see if everything else can get built. Last time they came from this direction. I don't know if that's going to happen again. Let's just do that. Let's see if anybody can haul. Sadie's the only one. Ay, ay, ay. One day, 11 hours, 28 minutes. 
good progress so far. I ran out of rock to quarry. Maybe we will come here. Of course, there's a stair situation. Let's do it. We'll probably drop rock here. That's inconvenient. No, where are you going? Okay, we still got you at three on everything. Someone needs to make rocks. The rock supply over here. Okay, decisions have to be made here one day. The, the main choke point is the supply of rocks. And each Merlon's 10 rocks. These guys are only making like nine. Let's try to focus first on the front. All the effort to move these things around or plan it out.
Let's get these guys working together near each other. when they don't listen. Let's narrow this down so that it's not going to the farthest reaches. We'll build as we produce um, limestone. I'll leave it like that. Come over here. grabbing like one stone, two. Now that's efficient. Starting a pile right in front. Save a couple of trips for the builders. Let's see if she's trying to sleep or eat or something constructing. No. One day, two hours. 58 minutes. She needs entertainment. That we will allow. Morale has to stay high. Okay, so far I'm liking my efforts here. Got this side built out. That was a big improvement considering they came in from this side. We can use all the space if we need to. And the front. And if we have enough time, I'm going to destroy the wood and put in stone block because the wood does like 40% coverage. Cover effect of 55. Huh. Same. Okay. I thought it was different. Well, we won't do that then. We'll just... There we go. Got our miner back. Now that we have this corner and we'll have the whole front, we might just do a quick wall right here and force them to come this way. Or that way. Or this way. Or that way. Maybe not. Tell them to carry it, because if he only needs one he'll grab one and at least this way we'll have 11 that are placed right here this dude's gardening over here okay
Now that that's covered, we'll put some Merlons this side. Let's see how much this costs. 70. Doable. But, oh, tending wounds. Okay, we'll let that happen. And then we will try to figure out where to mine. Is he going? Uh, outside here. Cool. Very important to have all kinds of construction materials inside your walls. We'll move the pile. Ay, ay, ay. Can't be wasting time. At least it matches both sides. That's an improvement there. Seventeen hours. When we get closer, I'm gonna look at my schedule and then I wanna make sure everybody's rested up. Rough wine just in time before battle. Come on. A little morale booster. Melee. Complete garbage. But double passionate. Make sure we have a weapon for her. We do. Two handed flange. I don't know if we have the skill for it, but Let's see if you can grab it. Of course not. Okay. Anyone else? Melee 12. Alright, that worked out good. What do you got? A dagger? Okay, come on now. That's more appropriate to a melee 12. Oh, we should definitely get more bows. What am I doing? Shit. So you have three, four. Okay. Dang it. What am I doing? Fifteen hours. Can you make like two bows? 
Because then he's got to sleep. Try to get the corners at least over here. Settlers are annoyed. Well, that's war for you, baby. Okay, we do have 200 stick traps. And I haven't even built a single stick trap since I've been back. 35 sticks. I know that now our own settlers can get damaged from traps, but if you leave space, I think they can walk between them. We'll see about that. They might not be able to do the diagonal. Great way to practice your healing, though. Okay. 12 hours. That's seven in the morning. We are at 19. This guy's gonna be rested, but I'm gonna make sure. It's gonna get early sleep here. Extra rest. No excuses, they better be ready. And then we'll kind of save our pattern here and that way I can just copy and paste after the battle. For the most part, I got all these Merlons, big improvement. We'll see if we can build some traps, see what happens to our animals and ourselves here. So, the traps are great if just only to slow them down some, get them wounded a little bit, so maybe not in front of the door, but that's fine. Did I use all the sticks immediately? Good enough. We got one trap so far. All right. Wait, I feel like we did all that we could do leading up to this battle. Once again, I felt prepared on the last one. We got destroyed. Now, the big thing that I messed up on is I wasn't paying attention. I should at least have bows for everyone. So at least in the beginning, as they approach the compound here, everyone's shooting an arrow, even if that has zero skill. And then they can grab a melee weapon um, later. Oh, we're starving. Fantastic. What timing. Totally slipped through. Uh... Dang it. Okay. We got 9 hours, 43 minutes.
I'm gonna let him drink though. They'll have to fight through the starving. Okay, so that's another misstep. Not realizing we're out of food. Let him drink. Okay. We're going to skip this gun. It's going to be a wild goose goose chase here, although pretty good skill. So hopefully one shot, one kill to a sleeping goat. Come on, baby. We really need this. And then you need a melee weapon. We might have you just attacking that wolf right away. We have a bow. That's good. Man, we don't have a lot of armor from that last battle. Two helmets. Damn, we're screwed. He's trying to shoot a bow in the rain. It's going to affect his hit chance. Who's not completely exhausted? Because we need food. Gun it is. Well, you're already hunting. Okay, we won't be starving. Nice. Okay, who is going to harvest? Who's my cook? Cooking. Make sure they're not gonna eat raw food and send their morale even lower. Dog's got to eat. Okay, let's do another one. Perfect timing. Okay, we got three hours till they arrive, which is 8 o'clock. And they'll be just like totally maxed out. We'll just check on sleep here. Fully rested.
awesome. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Who else has... Okay, we have everyone else with cooking on. We need one more batch. This way, if things go really badly, people can just walk over and grab some food and not have to cook it and all that. In fact, what we're going to do is near the table, we'll put food... Clear, clear all meals. Oops. Of all kinds, right there. Actually, let me double check what that means. Okay. Just take this off for now. Okay, boy are we prepared. We got meals centrally located in case we got people injured. They just do a short trip instead of going all the way down to the cellar. Um, I don't have herbs, I guess, huh? Oh, I got tons of herbs. Okay, cool, and they're just right here. We're ready. Okay. Booking. Pityless. Okay, so Marauders. We'll see about that though. <gasps> I hit the wrong thing. No. Stupid. I hit the wrong thing. Oh, <laughs> you idiot. No. Damn. So not only did we lose two people on the previous battle, damn. And I just lost my free with double passion melee. Dang it. 25 tailoring. That's brutal. Brutal. I suck. Well, before you go, why don't you just drop this stuff? See ya. That sucks so much. I'm pissed. That sucks. <sighs> Almost never do that, but every once in a while that'll happen. Just not paying attention. I'm annoyed. I really doomed this series honestly that's gonna be hard to recover from we're gonna be so far behind the raids it's not even funny I did say this is my practice series before I even get serious about making a series here <laughs> but I find that I already am making thumbnails and stuff like that but meh so annoying I could do this a million times better if I restart I'm not going to we're just gonna play it out but man that hurt that was so stupid oh well moving on um, I know I I don't know how long I've recorded, so I know I'm at my stopping point. We'll just kind of do a little recap and see where we're at. We did make good progress. I'm so annoyed. That was completely by accident here. I was definitely ready for that battle. Not to mention all the armor that we would get, even if it's garbage. I mean, I have no armor, so killing a bunch of marauders, getting their weapons, and, um, you know, harvesting their apparel to make textiles and stuff, that would have been huge. Especially since it said there was no archers, we would have just destroyed them. It would have been a, a gimme putt, you know? That sucks. Anyways, we are going to end it here. 
Um, we're making progress. We harvested our first round of trees. We got a ton of wood. They're not even all. We got 1,100 uh, wood here. We're approaching the winter. It's autumn, day five. So we'll do some last minute stuff. And then what we'll do is, you know, my carpenter guy, he can make a bunch of wood and perfect his craft using the 1,100. We can continue doing some building. We'll make some space for these guys and finish up the shared room, finish up the defenses. Um, and then uh, we will start working on a perimeter here just to kind of occupy some ground and say that this is our territory. And we'll just have like a very simple um, wall structure like here, you know, give myself room. Um, I'm OK with the way I started uh, by just kind of being cramped, but it was easy to defend with like two and three and four people, but it, it is cramped. So now we're going to pivot into occupying ground. Now that we can hold our ground, we're going to occupy ground and put a wall like this far out, you know, and just have about this much space around each wall and uh, room to breathe. And then maybe you could start building buildings out here for whatever reason like i can definitely see all this soil here is going to be great for gardening so i'll probably have an individual cellar right in the middle of it all so we could store our seeds and our vegetable harvest so that way farmers aren't having to run back and forth all the way to our cellar over here things like that but first the walls have to come up anyways big plans coming up in the future sorry that we missed out i wanted to end on a battle just for the, ex the excitement's sake I would never run from a battle, that's for sure. Um, so annoyed. It's actually kind of embarrassing what just happened there. But oh well, life goes on. I'll see you guys on the next one. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Help me out. Say hello. Um, leave a comment. I'd like to get to know whoever is actually watching, if anyone. Um, I'm, I'm liking the numbers, uh, the number of views. I'm actually a little surprised. So, um I'm glad it's working out so far, at least in the very beginning. Cause this is like my all-time favorite game right now. But uh, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys later.